to the terrific Mr. Turtle Show right after these commercial messages. Do you suffer from a reptile? Does it feel like you were rubbing sandpaper down there when it's that special time? Everybody, wake up! Or does your spouse say it's like you're shoving a what? Log in the It's day one of our deal with Stingy. You may be suffering from what we call... And you felt the need to wake me up at five in the morning to tell me that because... Because it's also a very special day! Mm, what happened? Did your balls finally drop? Ha! <laughs> nice one. Nope, it's even better because today's class field trip day! What? Class field trip day, motherfucker! Woohoo! Shut the fuck up! Some of us are trying to get some sleep. Goddamn dumbasses. Holy sh! Beautiful, elegant, but most of all, Shh! as fuck! Did you see that shit? That thing got snatched up right the fuck out of nowhere! And that's exactly why we're here today. To watch nature and all its beauty? No, it's... To watch how deadly and fucking metal it can be? <sighs> No, Maxine. We're here to learn how horrible and unorderly nature is because it has no economics. Uh, uh. That was close enough. I am also disappointed. What? This is an economics class, people. I can't just take you to the park and let you enjoy this nice day out. I am also amused. You got class work to do. Now I want each of you to take a paper and pick a partner and find 10 examples of how shitty wildlife is compared to ours. Any questions? Oh, yes, Jeffrey. Is no one going to question the fact that there's a demonic skeleton hanging out with Mark? Nope, because snitches get stitches, Jeffrey. And we're really deep in the woods where no one will hear you scream. Oh. Now everyone, grab a partner, and a paper, and get the fuck off the bus! <gasps> I'll be your partner, Junior. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Or you know, you could ask her to be your partner. You know, the girl you're trying to get with? The girl you made a deal with me to help you win over? Yeah. But Junior has Mrs. PCs. I don't see why that should matter. But best buddy, they're like Mrs. Cups. But in I want you dumb candy! I want you to talk to her, and I want you to put on some fucking deodorant! Oh. I don't need deodorant, dude. I have natural musk. If by natural musk you mean the smell of wide open ass, then yeah, you got it. How do you know what wide open ass smells like? Don't worry about it. Now give me that. You go fill this out for him. And you, come with me. Oh look, wait dude, uh, teacher said we gotta be doing this as partners? And how exactly is that my problem? Well, if he fails this class, he ain't gonna be able to be around Heather anymore, and then your little deal or whatever thing can't happen. So maybe we do the classwork first, and then we do the whatever stuff. Hmm, you have a fair point. But I've got a better one! What? That. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Probably. Come on, we got work to do. Okay, so you said you've never talked to Heather before, right? Yep. Okay, good. So, we need to make a great first impression then. 
And to do that, we need to make sure you don't fuck up. So, we're gonna practice. <laughs> now, I want you to walk up and just say hi, okay? Don't say or do anything else. Just say hi, and what are you doing? Hiding. You know that's not even the real Heather, right? She looks real enough to me! Oh, for fuck's sake. There. Better? There you go! Now just say hi or hello, okay? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Great job. You tried to say hi to a girl and ended up blinding a cripple. Oh my gosh! Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Don't mention it. I'll do anything to help someone in need. Come on! What about him? <laughs> no. It was worth a shot. I think I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna need a stiff drink. Maybe I'm not ready to talk to her just yet. We, maybe we should just call it quits for a day. Well, maybe you could grow a pair and man the fuck up! We had a deal to get that girl to like you! And I will be rammed if I'm gonna sit here and twiddle my thumbs while I wait for you to get the balls to talk to her! <sighs> now you sit here, shut up, man up, and get ready to try this shit again. I'm gonna go get a drink. Okay. This is totally fine. Just knock out Junior, teleport away, and leave me alone. Maybe Victoria was right. Summoning him was a mistake, and I'm just gonna be alone forever anyway. <sighs> wow, aren't you just a little ray of sunshine? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize anyone else was out here. I'll go sit somewhere else if that's so I don't bother you. <laughs> Relax, dude. You're fine. I'm just fucking with you. I'm Mark, by the way. I don't know if you knew me or not, but I kind of know you. I mean, <laughs> I know that you're the girl who sits behind Heather in Mr. Vance's class, named Maxine, but I also know that your friends... Friends call me Max. Right, I don't know you like they know you, so I wasn't going to call you that, but I mean, like, I... <laughs> Stop, stop. Do you even hear yourself right now? Look, Mark, you can call me Max, all right? We're cool. Just chill. All right, Max, uh, I'll be chill. <laughs> yeah, I'm super chill. <laughs> uh, sorry, usually no one really notices me very much or likes talking to me. I like talking to you. You, you do? Well, yeah. You're cool, and you don't annoy the absolute shit out of me first thing in the morning, like the little preppy, pompous-ass princess in class. Heather. Why do you say that? She's so nice! That kind of shit is exactly why. Well, for what it's worth, I get it. I mean, not everybody likes your whole happy-go-lucky demeanor she has all the time. I mean, I kind of do, but I'm unbiased because I kind of like her. Even though she doesn't act like I exist or ever talk to me whatsoever. Which makes me kind of depressed sometimes. Well, if you ask me, you're better off without her. Yeah, maybe. To be honest, I wish I could work up the courage to talk to her. Every time I try to talk to a girl, I become a stuttering, juddering mess. You're literally talking to me just fine. <laughs> Holy crap, I am. And I didn't even scream like a girl or throw you. I mean, um, uh, what's that? Hmm? Oh, this is my lucky rock. Oh cool, that's definitely a normal thing people have. I was actually just about to go look and see what other kind of cool rocks I could find in that cave back there. What cave? Over there, look. Oh, cool. You're not scared of that little old cave, are you, Mark? Uh, n no, of course not. <laughs> oh, good, good. You should come with me then. Wait, what? 
I don't know if this is a good idea, Max. We don't know what's in there. I know. That's the best part of it. The uncertainty. The endless possibilities. Ugh. It's got me pumped. Are you pumped? No! I am not pumped. I am 110% not pumped. <laughs> and that's what I said. You're about as sharp as a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I am also amused. No, not really. Ah, jeez, major ouchies. God, fuck. Landed around on my fucking dome, dude. Wait, where am I? Am I dead? Is this hell? You're fine. We're still in the stupid park, and Mark just went in that cave with some weird girl with a pet rock. Wait, the girl with a pet what? Who was that guy? Oh, that's, uh, Jeffrey. He's Mr. Badgie's most hated student. No one knows why. He broke his legs with a crowbar once. That's, uh, that's why he's in a wheelchair. No idiot, the other guy. Oh, that's Nathan. That's, uh, Heather's best friend. Best <laughs> friend, huh? Shit. Oh, look at me, I'm totally Mark, doopity doopity doo. Oh yeah, and I'm totally Junior doing what Junior does, talking about weed and the drugs and the candies, doopity doopity doo. Hey Junior. Hey weirdo. Hmm. Well, she finally said hey to Mark. Too bad it wasn't the real one. Wait, shit. Hey, is that Nathan guy your best friend sexually or normally? Ah, oh, fuck, she's gone. Well. If at first you don't succeed, try again. So, this is fun and all, but, uh, can we go now? No, 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 not yet. Just a little further, all right? What, what, what if we get lost and we get stuck in here forever, only to have each other to talk to as we slowly descend into madness as savages who only hunger for food and can't talk because all we can ever say is, ah! <sighs> Thank you, Max. I needed that. What? I panicked and you had the closest rock, I'm sorry! Hey, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, dude, but you're in a cave full of rocks, dipshit. Well, yeah, but I don't want to pick up those rocks, they're dirty! Oof, Jesus, tad dancing craze. Just follow me, it should be just around the corner. Wait, what's around the corner? It's not another spider, is it? Because I don't like spider! Whoa. One hell of a view, huh? Do you hear that? The sweet acoustics in here? Hell yeah. I need to come here and shred my guitar sometime. Uh, Mark, where are you going? Towards the random cave person playing a piano. Um, and you see absolutely nothing wrong with any of that? Oh, come on! It's just someone playing a piano in the middle of nowhere in a deep, dark cave. What's the worst that can happen? A lot? A lot of worse things can happen, dipshit. Okay, on second thought, you might be right. Maybe we should. Oh, hello there. I wasn't expecting an audience. Otherwise, I would have dressed better. <laughs> aren't you already in a dress, though? Uh, and aren't we supposed to be leaving? Leaving? Why, you just got here, dear. Yeah, Max, don't be rude. Besides, she seems trustworthy. Are you Miss... Uh... Oh, where are my manners? 
I'm Lady Vampira. See? And the fact that this lady's clearly a vampire. Yeah, and that's a red flag, dipshit. Oh, don't be silly, dear. Why don't you two have a seat? I was just about to play a nice song to commemorate my son. Oh no, what happened? He was tragically killed just an hour ago by a fool with a rock. Huh. Yeah, okay, there's no more ignoring it. That flag is fucking crimson. We are leaving. Leaving? Oh no, you're not going anywhere. Hey, Heather. Uh, oh, hey, Nathan. Is Jeffrey okay in there? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I just have a small question for you, real quick. See, I got talking to Junior. The pothead. Yeah, yeah, the pothead. And and he said he heard we were best friends, and I just wanted to check with you and see if that was okay with you. And, uh... Of course not. We're not just best friends. We're totes besties. <laughs> oh, God. See, this is our selfie from this morning when we got coffee. This is from our brunch with my parents last week. And this is from last month when my boyfriend left me and I was depressed. <laughs> How did you take those last two pictures without your hands? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. Anyone will say or do anything for the right price. <laughs> right, Thomas? See? <laughs> oh, well, wait. When did you put on this suit? Fuck you! Well, that wasn't very totes, bestie. Well, this took a weird turn. Really? You don't say. It's almost like someone was wrong. Yeah, you were. She wasn't even a vampire. I got a plan. Uh, dude, seriously? We're surrounded by freaking rocks here. Why do you keep grabbing my- Maxi! Hello? <laughs> Please don't kill me! My best buddy won't like it and he's gonna get mad at me! <laughs> you think that scares me, human? Please. If the Grim Reaper was truly your so-called best buddy, he would be here to stop me. But he's not, is he? It's just you, me, and this rock. <laughs> so do me a favor and die! you what's up i'm maxine my friends call me max oh and uh i'm the hellhound who's gonna knock your ass out you what sorry about that in advance by the way oh i get it you're one of those going head first overconfident kind of fighters well you know what they say the overconfident ones are always the first <laughs> and the crowd goes wild! <laughs> wow, you are really killing my vibe right now. That's not the only thing killing you. Huh? But first... <sighs> wow. You are... You are seriously fast for an old lady. Aww. Thank you so much. Maxine? Will you stand still and die already? Only if you 
say please. Hey, also, as one musician to another, you're pretty good on the piano. But maybe don't be so largo with it though when you're playing, you know? I bet if you speed it up, it might add some real pizzazz. <gasps> How dare you! I'll have you know that I've been playing that piano just fine for the last hundred years without a single complaint from anyone. Oh, really? Is that because you killed them first before they could? What's up, little buddy? You doing all right? <laughs> yeah, you're all right. You'll be fine. Too bad that won't be the case much longer. Actually, could you not kill him? I actually kind of like him. Oh, in that case, how about I kill you first so I can enjoy killing him in peace? <laughs> that would kind of be a dick move if you ask me. Oh? <laughs> What's wrong? No more witty comebacks? Come on, Mutt! Surely you've got at least one more little joke in you. No? How about some last words then, huh? <laughs> Harder. What? Harder, Mommy? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is 100% not what is happening right now! Oh, what? Too good to choke me out now? No, uh, no, it's nothing like that. I would just never do that to someone like you. Uh, what do you mean, someone like you? Not nothing. Just forget I said anything. In fact, I'm not even going to say another word. I'm just going to let this next part be a surprise. Is this a surprise that you're being a bit of a bitch? Because that's what you're being. What was that you said about the overconfident ones? They're always the first to fall. Bitch! Ugh. Shit. Shit! Oh, hey, you got it. Thanks, little dude. I'm sorry you had to see that. I didn't mean to scare you, but I'm like 99% sure she was about to bash your head open like a pinata. So I- Was so friggin' cool! She was all like, man, I'm a spider, I'm going to kill you! And you were all like, bark bitch, I'm a wolf, get bing-monged, bam, right in her face! Oh, that was so cool. I cannot wait to tell Charlie and Junior about this. They are gonna freak. Actually, could you not? I mean, I'm not supposed to be going around showing off like that. And if my dad found out, I was, well... Oh, you want to keep it a secret? Okay, but if we do that, I want one thing in return. I want to ride you. You what? Like a pony. Not sexually. Oh, thank God. Also, before you go wolf and let me ride you or whatever, you gotta say maxi maximize. Deal? Maximize? Why? All of one person in the audience is gonna get that reference. You know what? Fuck it. Deal. Great. Now let's get out of this cave. I don't know about you and your rock, but I for one am done exploring any giant monster lady's dark holes for a while. Not if I can help it. Are you two done fucking off for today? Best buddy, we found a spider lady and she was singing and everything all dramatically and then she tried to kill me off a rock. fun freaking -tastic. I don't care. Your teacher's been calling for everyone to get back to the bus. You guys got five minutes to get your dumbasses on the bus or I'm leaving you here! 
We should probably get going then. I don't doubt that he would just leave us here. I've seen him do it before. Oh, where are my manners? Maxine, this is Charlie. Charlie, this is Maxine. Charlie's my best buddy, by the way. But he won't admit it because he's too proud. Nice to meet you. Yeah, whatever. Hey, where's Junior? Did you think I forgot about our deal? You gotta say Maxine Maximize before you transform. Ah, uh, dude, seriously? Mm -hmm. That was our deal. Uh, Maxine Maximize. There. Are you happy? That's just prime. Now you best saddle the fudge up, Missy. I'm about to ride you hard like you're a majestic fucking stallion. Stop any time, friend. All you gotta do is tell me where the book is. I... I told you I don't know where your stupid fucking book is, asshole. Please, have mercy. <laughs> you want mercy? From me? <laughs> Sorry, friend. That's a no. Ah! <laughs> Hell, I'll be damned. This shithole of a town just got a whole lot more interesting. Now, where was I? All right. You wanted mercy. <laughs> <laughs> 